Does everybody know what time it is? No. That's right. Finford Tools is proud to present Tim the Tool Man Taylor. Hey! Hey! Oh, man, his morning crew, Rob, Allison, and Jim, and Heidi or Debbie Dunning from Home Improvement fame back in the 90s. Yeah. Yeah, she's out here at Daniel Island today. That's where we're broadcasting live from with the Need to Breathe Golf Classic, Tim the Tool Man Taylor. How cool is that, huh? And Heidi is along with us this morning. I feel really, really fortunate to be here. Um, I've been here for the last couple of years, and uh, I don't know if you guys talked about the charity, but what it brings to these little towns in Uganda or Nicaragua is a doctor and affordable uh, medical for like one doctor to I think 8,500 people, but mm -hmm. it's crazy. So we bring more facilities in to take care of these kids. and. Um, everybody pulls together once a year and it's it's almost like a little family reunion too at the same time we're being spoiled with golf and unbelievable music we uh, we see what we get to do on the other side of the world so I love how you're so involved in it because you know exactly what PMI stands for oh, and yeah. what they're doing yeah well there's a lot of um, I hate to say it, but there's a lot of uh, golf charities that say, oh, we'd love to have you. And the first thing is, what is it? What is it about? What are mm -hmm. we doing? Because when you take time away from, you know, I have three kids and I have, you know, kindergarten, high school and college, <laughs> I'm really spread that if you're going to take time away, you want to make sure it's, you know, for something that's close to your heart. It's so cool to hear that uh, family is so important to you. And you live in San Diego, but yeah. I understand that you actually graduated from the same high school as your parents? I did, John Burroughs High School. We're only 20 years apart. And so um, there were teachers that I'd walk in and they're like, you're a Dunning. I'm like, how do you know? Like, your eyes. And I think I looked like my parents when I was younger, so um, I guess they knew. But to have the same teachers 20 years is a pretty big stint. But yeah, I was Miss Burbank. I don't know if you guys know that, but oh, very cool. <laughs> that was quite quite something in high school. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> but you're you're pretty private. I mean, we yeah. we don't see a lot of, of you on social media. Are yeah, you... I got to get more with it. I I didn't realize, you know, the whole first twenty years of my career, I was extremely protective of my space and you know never did nudes or anything like that and and now everybody's throwing everything out there and it's just not me and now I'm learning that you really need to promote yourself individually um, I've been really protective and private with my children and my family and I think that that's just me I think if it's gonna hit it's gonna hit and if it doesn't well at least I did a good job protecting them but you know they know what you look like the bad guys you just don't know what they look like. Mm. So, I don't know. I'm not as saturated as most people. Yes, that's mm -hmm. true. <laughs> yeah, you or your husband, because Steve Timmons, no. I mean, he's an Olympian. Yes. We're talking is. in the 80s. He was all, Team USA in mm -hmm. volleyball. Yeah, he's, uh, he's very humble, too. You know, you'd come into our house and you got like, where's his gold medals? Oh, they're in a shoebox in the garage somewhere. We're like, <laughs> oh, so we wow. do have to find them sometimes when people want to see them. And like where did you put that box and <laughs> it's crazy feel like you don't have them up and he's like there's just not replaceable you know? yeah so we also don't put it up because our kids don't have to they don't have to hit those levels they're going to hit their own levels and mm -hmm. you know choose what they want to do i um i just tell you a really quick story i had an audition the other day and i couldn't make it to la in time so they said, well, just tape yourself. So I, I got into this room. It's like our whitest room, our whitest, plainest room. And I had my husband, my son, and my daughter and a camera on a tripod. And I gave them all paper of who they were. And they all did all the different lines to me. <laughs> I go, thank you guys so much. But you don't get to audition, you know, with your family ever. And we, we wrapped up. And I said, how did that feel? And my son, Stoney, and my son, Cisco, who's seven, who did not have a part. He just laid there like the boy that was dying on the bed because I had to give him something. And um, they're like, oh, I want to be an actor. Go, okay, after this one audition, you guys all want to be actors. It's so easy. Go ahead. You Watch know them I, get the part. It's so easy. <laughs> my, my little guy who was laying on the bed, I had to stay serious because he was laying with his eyes closed and he goes, <laughs> open, <laughs> like he's pretending to talk as my daughter's giving me the lines. <laughs> it's just the cutest Aww. thing. He goes, I know I'm ready for a commercial, Mom. <laughs> okay. He'd be good, though, if I could, got him out there. Yeah, you're hearing from Debbie Dunning, uh, Heidi from Home Improvement with us on his radios. We're live from Daniel Iden today. Dancing with the Stars is a big thing. Yes, it is a big thing. But you were on Circus of the Stars. 
back in the day. It's a bigger thing. <laughs> yes, it is. Isn't it? <laughs> Didn't well, last as long. Nobody could hang with it. <laughs> yeah, it, literally, because you're like the high wire. No, not the high wire. Whoa, I did the trapeze. The trapeze. Wow. Yeah. You well, you know, those days? I, w I loved it. It was you signed a contract saying you had to be there six days, at least three to four hours a day. And I thought, well, that seems like a lot. But you really need that time to take someone who's not, you know, a gymnast and put them up there and let them fly across and trust the people to grab you and, and drop. And I mean, it was crazy. I messed up every single day except for tape day. Ah. I think I was flawless on tape day. I think I won. <laughs> Not that it was a competition, but um, I actually almost did uh, Dancing with the Stars, but uh, I got pregnant with my middle son. So I, uh, I pulled out. I knew I'd wet my pants. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're There's pregnant. There's one thing yeah. I can't do when I'm pregnant. I can't hold it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's cool to see that your daughter, Spencer Shea, she's not going into acting, but food science. Yes. That's yes. so interesting. How did she choose that? She's smart. She wanted to be a nurse, and she was applying to all sorts of schools. Uh, she made it into, she got accepted into 10 schools. Fortunately, she picked San Diego State, and that's good because she just was home on Friday, and we had dinner together, and so I get to see her very often. And um, San Diego State is a really hard nursing program to get into, but she did want to go. She got accepted to San Francisco and quite a few others, Tennessee and here, and she's like, I just kind of think I want to be home. And so I said, well, you can always, two years, you can always transfer and become a nurse. Well, she took care of her boyfriend. Who had, who's up at Cal, who had shoulder surgery, and she came home after three days. She goes, I don't want to be a nurse because I love him. I love him, and I don't ever want to do that again. So, yeah, I think food science is going to be good for her. She's very fit and very mm -hmm. athletic, and I think she'll create a few things. And She doesn't eat Taco Bell, does she? Well, once in a while we do. Do you? Yeah. Well, I, I would think because you are the run for the border girl. Yeah, I was Louise for gosh, yeah. 20 plus commercials. That was 20. amazing. I did one commercial and um, it probably wasn't till the 17th commercial they said, you know, Debbie, you don't have to eat the taco. We have a spit bucket. <laughs> 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 I said, they're so good. I had no idea that I wasn't supposed to swallow the whole taco and start again. And thank God, I, you know, we got it in a couple takes. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Debbie Dunning, thanks for the time this morning. Oh, thank you, guys. Glad you're thanks here. for being here. Yeah, and thanks for being at this uh, golf classic. What a great cause oh, yeah. it is. Yeah, every time I will. Thanks for listening.